So Sevastamab is a FCRH5 targeting bispecific agent. And you know, there's always been concerns in is toxicity greater in older patients, especially in regards to cytokine release, infectious complications. And we've presented data at some of prior meetings looking at the rates of infectious complications and CRS, and they appear comparable in patients less than 65 and over age 65, and response rates also appear comparable in the 50 to 60% range. So Sevastamab is nice because it's a different target, so FCRH5 is somewhat of an underexplored target in myeloma, so it gives us a new alternative for patients, for example, who are relapsing off to BCMA-directed therapies, because um, we actually have a plethora of BCMA-directed therapy choices, um, but what do you do after that? So now we have potentially a couple new options. So, you know, I think when I look at the biospecifics, talquetamab is um, GPRC5D targeting, Sevastamab is FCRH5 targeting, teclistamab BCMA targeting. You know, it's hard to compare across trials, but the response rates, you know, are anywhere between 50 to 65 percent. And again, different patient populations, all heavily pretreated. So I don't really think of it as a one versus the other. I think of it as patients are going to probably be exposed to all of those agents at different times in their disease course, and it's more in terms of side effect profiles that I would look at.